Hi, I'm James, and today on the desk we have this, which is the HP 15 GW0502SA. Uh, this is a Athlon Silver based laptop, which was shipped originally with a one terabyte hard drive and four gigs of RAM. So we are going to be opening up the machine and upgrading those components, and also looking at some of the other replaceable parts as well. So to start with, we are going to take our pry tool and we want to remove these two rubber feet from the base as these hide some screws. So what I'm going to do is push the end of the pry tool in here and what we want to do is lift the rubber strip and the sort of uh, the adhesive tape beneath it. So we want to dig in underneath that, get both the strip and the foot and unfortunately because this rubber is a bit brittle it has pulled there but never to mind we will work along and get to the next piece. What we'll do is on reassembly we're just going to put these back together So getting under this again, we're then going to try and just slide under and not split it a second time. And then begin to just gently peel along it. And once we are under the adhesive strip, we should then be able to more easily pull that out. It does look, because this machine was a refurb, like that may be so it was, looks like maybe that had been taken off before as the adhesive strip underneath it was already split. But anyway, with the first one removed, and then we want to do the same with the second one here. With these, it should be simple enough to refit these with the original adhesive, but I do have some 3M double-sided tape if required. So with that removed, we can then see three screw, uh, sorry, four screws here at the top, two on this front edge and one here. So we are going to begin removing these. And as I remove the screws, I just place them off to the side in roughly the same positions that they have come from. Then removing these two shorter ones which are angled on the front. Now, with that done, we want to turn over the laptop and open it up. And we then want to take our pry tool and we want to find the join between the base and the palm rest and push down with the pry tool into this seam here. With that, we can then gradually work our way along to release the base from the palm rest. This is obviously a lot easier when you don't have a camera and tripod sat in the way. Links for the uh, pry tools and 
screwdrivers and other components fitted here are also all just in the description below. We are then going to begin working along the side. And then on the other side as well. It's always best to use a plastic pry tool for this. Uh, if you have something metal, it will indent into the plastic and make a bit of a mess. So with as much of that released as possible, we are then going to turn over the laptop and we should be able to then pull on the front of the base and lift it clear. So once inside, our first job is to disconnect the battery to make sure everything is safe to work on. So to do this, we are going to remove the, I believe, four screws that hold in the battery. So the two either side of the connector here and two at the bottom. This is a standard HP HT-03XL battery pack. And with those screws removed, we can then just at the top here lift the battery up and then slot it off this little nodule here and we're going to position the battery out the way for later. So in terms of upgradable components, because this machine shipped with a 2.5 inch hard drive, it obviously includes the cable uh, and bracketry and board here for connecting that type of drive. We can also, however, fit a M2 drive. So here I've got a 2230 drive in a 2280 adapter and the port for attaching this, uh, which is a PCIe NVMe type drive is here. You will have to source your own screw for putting it in. But in this case, we are just replacing with another SATA SSD. So what we will do is we are going to remove the two screws that hold the existing drive in place. And then slide out the drive. There is then a single screw which holds in the hard drive. And with that removed, we can slot the drive out of the holder, take our SSD and line up that little piece there. For refitting this screw into the side. I have already cloned the contents of the hard drive onto the SSD with true image. So this is all set up and ready to go. And that's my preferred software for doing that. And then refitting the two mounting screws. So if your machine is equipped with a hard drive or 2.5 inch drive, that is the process for fitting those. As I say, if you have an M2 drive, it's a case of simply unscrewing, slot the drive out and slot in the replacement as I showed earlier before refitting the screw. The memory is in the form of two DIMM slots and to add an additional memory module, we would simply take this, insert it angled up slightly and press down to clip in space. 
place. Uh, these are DDR4 2400 modules, but you can fit 3200 modules, they'll just run at the lower speed. So with all that done, we can then refit our battery. So we are going to press that into place and screw in the four screws. And then having completed the work inside the machine, we can take the base and put this back into place. We can then press down on the base to begin clipping it into place before turning the laptop over and going around the inside to ensure all the clips between palm rest and base properly engaged. And with that done, all that is left to do is to flip the machine back over and refit our screws and rubber strips. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, do let me know in the comments if it helped you or any questions you may have on upgrading your machine. Uh, do check in the description. There are links to the components and tools used and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as I post them. Thanks for watching.